if you're with a man and the man is constantly like, you you keep telling him stuff, you keep telling him stuff, you keep telling him how to treat you, you keep showing, giving him the whole blueprint, the whole instructions on how to treat you. Okay, number one, this is what you do. Number two, this is what you do. Number three, this is what you do. Number four, this is what you do. Number five, this is what you do. And you have to go over that goddamn list all year long and pull out the instructions and show them, drop them. I notice that a lot of people come on here and they don't like when I'm talking like this. I'm usually always positive and, oh my gosh, let's talk about this today. And this is the positive way to do it. This is the positive way of thinking. Now, I got to keep it 1,000. So you cannot teach a man how to treat you, right? But you, you can show a man how you're not going to tolerate it. And you can kick a man to the curve, right? At the end of the day, how long do you want to spend in this relationship trying to tell this man, show this man how to treat you? Tolerate the bare minimum. So when you know you can get better, when you know, you know for a fact that you can get better, you know for a fact that you deserve more. A lot of us know we can we can get more, but then at the end of the day, we kind of question ourselves a little bit. Like, can I get more? Can I get all that I'm asking for? Am I asking for too much? Is this is this relationship that I'm wanting? Is it realistic? Is it not realistic? Is it a dream? Is it possible? Like should I just stay in this relationship and just hope and pray one day that this person is going to change? This person is going to change like I'm changing. This person is going to put in the relationship what I put into the relationship. Like all of us have that little insecurity. All of us have that worry. That, that worry. But listen, sis, that's going to change when you start to get tired. That's going to change when you don't have the energy. That's going to change when God starts working on your soul. That's going to change when God starts helping you get some confidence. That's going to that's gonna change when God starts shifting your priorities. That's going to change when you start learning your worth. That's going to change when you start seeing and meeting other people that tell you and show you that you deserve better and you can get better. Once you start learning and once you get out there and experience and start talking to people and you're around different people, you meet different men and all, and all this stuff. And this is this for my sisters. And you meet different men, you start talking and you start realizing like, wow, like people are complimenting me on my personality. People, I'm meeting different people. I'm seeing how different men are. I'm seeing, once you start exposing yourself and start learning, like you can most definitely get better. That's when your, your spirit and your mind and everything is going to change. And you're going to start to shift toward better. And the reason why I can talk and tell you all this today is because I, I did that. Before I was married, I was in a situationship where I was in the situation. Oh, I'm like, my makeup a bomb. Sorry. I was in the situation for a while, you guys, like for some years. I got in, I got into this situation unexpectedly. It was just a platonic friendship. And then it just turned into something different. I'm just hoping that one day it's just going to turn into something different. It's going to evolve into a relationship. It's going to, it's, this person is gonna, going to be my person. So, and I was willing to go through it all. And I was going through it all because I'm that type of person when I love. When I love, it's like, bro, I got you like forever in a day. Like that's the type of person that I am. And as I started to find who I am and gain confidence, and once I started to realize who I am as a woman, and I started to realize that, hey, and I started to realize like, hey, like my, like you really are that woman. You really, you really are that wife. You, you really are the person that you see in the mirror. You really are that person. Once I started to realize that, then that's when everything started to shift and I started praying to God. I was like, God, like I want more to, the more than this. I've never, I was okay with situationships because I didn't really do relationships like that. But at the end of the day, I knew for a fact, like the way my boundaries and my self-esteem is set up, set up, I knew that this is not the thing for me. And it was very, started to get kind of toxic on both sides. So that's when I was like, you know what? Like you really got to let go and really trust and believe and know that you're going to find that good guy that you're looking for. And I ended up, no, no shame against the, against the other person, but I'm just using it, at, using this as the example. Like as I start to get older and really develop who I am as a woman, that's when I started to know like my negotiable, my negotiables, my non-negotiables, what I wanted to put up with, what I didn't want to put up with. And as you get older, you start to get tired. Right. And then I'm like, I, I'm not practicing what I preach. I'm Telling all my friends this advice and this strong woman, blah, 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 blah. I'm speaking all this woman empowerment and all this stuff. And at the end of the day, I'm not taking my own advice. So I was like, you know what? You're, you're, you're giving women advice, but you got to be an example of it too. So everything that I was telling all these women and all this advice that I was giving all these people that always ask, ask me for advice, I was like, all right, my, like, you got to take a step back. You got to take a step back. You got to be that woman and, and stand tall on what you preach. 
stand tall on what you preach. So I started putting my foot down. And even though it was very hard for me to walk away from the, the situation, I did it. I did it. And I found somebody that I've always dreamed for, even though it's not perfect, a, a perfect relationship. But I, I found somebody that always have treated me like I've always desired. The same way my dad treated me with gentle love. Even though my dad be stripping, I ain't, gonna, I, I ain't gonna lie. He can be a little toxic sometimes when he was living. But that type of love that my dad showed me. And I was like, wow. No, and the way that I see him, him treat my mom. I was like, now that's, that, that, like, that's how a man should treat a woman. And that will be a beautiful thing to have in a relationship. So I ended up finding somebody. <clears throat> excuse me. I ended up finding somebody that has those same qualities. And when I'm talking about the qualities, I'm talking about opening up the doors. I'm talking about surprising you with roses throughout every Wednesday, showing up with flowers, showing up with gifts, giving, buying you your favorite makeup, <laughs> buying you lipstick. And he knows the shade of the lipstick, like different, different things like that. Like just surprising you, you walk out the door, you see, a, a, a you see a whole bunch of your favorite food. I, I like that. And I like a man that is not afraid to show me that he loves me. I've dealt with a lot of men where they like me a lot. They love me a lot, but they don't really tell me until it's, it's until it's done. And then they're like, Hey, like I loved you. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, like I knew that, but like, I, I'm just not the type of girl that just going to sit around and just, Oh, I know he loves me. Even though he, he, he don't say it. No, bro. You need to say it, say it. If you feel like that, then you need to say it. Because I'm the type of person where, like, you know what I mean? Words are important. And I'm not going to sit here and, and I'm not going to sit here and just, like, I'm not going to sit here and not, I, I'm, I, if you guys can tell from the videos, I'm, I, I'm big on open, like, open communication. Like, I'm not going to play those childish games with you. You feel a certain type of way, you got to you gotta tell me. I feel that we all getting too old to be trying to figure somebody out. We're all getting too old on constantly trying to teach a man how to treat us. I feel like we're getting too old. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I feel like I'm getting to it. Because I, I feel like the type of woman that I am, that if you're trying to come over here, you need to rise to the occasion. I'm not going to lower my standards and my boundaries for you. And I met a lot of men that are like that. I'm out of breath. Yeah, I was shadow boxing, <laughs> trying to see if I still got it. But I met a lot of men that try to have me go down to their level. They don't want to rise to my to the occasion. occasion. So they want to try to to bring me down to their level because they're not willing to change because they don't want to do what it takes to keep a woman like me. This that's perfectly fine, but go ahead and go to um, Sharkeisha over there. Go to Sharkeisha. Go over there to Sharkeisha. Go over there to Elizabeth. I have to go Elizabeth because I don't want my, my people get mad at me talking about, why you just say Sharkeisha? Go to Elizabeth. Go over, there to, go over there to Beth because I'm not tolerating it. So at the end of the day, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm telling you, sis, I'm tired of seeing you cry. I'm tired of seeing you sad. I'm tired of seeing you such a dope, beautiful spirit. I'm tired of seeing you dealing with a man that's under, that's beneath you. I'm tired of it. I want to see you pull out of this situation. I want to see you on top. <clears throat> I want to see you focusing on your kids, focusing on yourself, focusing on your family, focusing on your dream. I want to see you putting all that first. I want to see you flourish. I want to see you flourish and find the man that, that you always wanted. I want to see that. I'm tired of you seeing, seeing you with your spirits down. I'm tired of seeing you just mentally defeated, physically exhausted, because you're dealing with the man that's taken from you and not poured into you. I'm telling you. And I know it may feel impossible to leave this relationship, but you got to know, sis, like, you got to know, like, you just got to pray to God to remove you from the situation. That situation I was in, I was praying to God constantly, constantly, because it was so hard for me to pull away from this. I was in it for like 10 years. I was in it for like 10 years and we'll take a break, come back. We'll take a break, come back. We'll stop talking, come back. We'll stop talking, come back. Like, that was like the cycle. And then it was like the same old cycle. Like, bro, where is this coming? Where is this going? Like, we're not in a relationship. It's not going nowhere. Like, you're not being clear on your what you want. I'm not being clear on what I want. Like, wh wh what is this? Like, wh like, what are we doing? And then I started praying to God. Oh my God, like, I, this person, like, I really love this person. Like, this person has a hold over me. But I need you to, to release this because it's not doing me justice. It's not serving my life. It's not serving my life, I felt like. I felt like, like... It was a lot of good parts in the in the relationship, but it's like, like I, I found myself just mentally kind of like 
the, the relationship kind of made me question myself sometimes. I'm the type of person, you guys, I, I, I'm i very, I'm a very secure person. So if I'm starting to, if I'm dealing with somebody and I don't really know where they're coming from and I have this, it's causing me to question who I am, I cut it off because at the end of the day, there's no way that I am going to put my self-esteem at jeopardy for somebody else. I'm not going to do it. So if I'm dealing with somebody and I don't know where they're coming from and they're giving me mixed signals and all that stuff, I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off because I'm not going to question myself or you. The only person that I can answer to is God. I, I, I like, you know, and I'm solid with the relationship that I have with God. And when I speak to God, I, my confidence is at the highest. I'm not going to deal with somebody that's bringing me beneath that. I'm not. I'm not. And never question yourself. Don't question yourself. When you find yourself questioning yourself, you got to do something to, to, to backtrack and, and redirect your thoughts. When you start to question, like, am I pretty enough? Am I better enough? Am I dope enough? Like, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Am I enough? Once you start doing that, backtrack. I am good enough. I am smart enough. I am pretty enough. I, I am worthy. I'm very worthy. You got to start switching it, man. You got you to gotta switch it. You got to turn it because we all get like that. We all get like that, right? That I went through some things in my relationship that made me kind of think. I was like, hmm, like, okay, like, this is kind of making me question, like, me as a person. Like, for somebody to do me like this, like, what did I do? I did something to, to, to get this. What what bad karma did I do to have something so tragic and something so devastating like this happen to me? So when you're in bad relationships, they can make you question who you are. So that's natural. But like I said, you got to redirect your thoughts, right? You got to redirect your thoughts. So at the end of the day in 2024, right? He either get with the program or you're going to have to drop them. And I know you don't want to drop them. But how long are you going to stay? Are you going to stay in something like this? How, how, how long are you going to deal with the man that you constantly have to tell them different things? Like, I think it's an insult when you're dealing with somebody and they don't even know your favorite color. They bring you something, they're like, bring you, bring, bring, they bring you some, uh, let's see, let's say they bring you like, what is it? They, they give you like a necklace and the necklace has like a little uh, rind, a diamond rhinestone in it and it's purple. And you like, bro, what, what is this? You're like, okay, like in my mind, like, okay, it's purple. And then he say, oh, well, like, I know you really like purple. Like, bro, my favorite color is green. What are you talking about? Like little things like that. Or if you, if you're talking to somebody and like, they don't even know your birthday, like things like that is important. That's important, sis. Like things like that is very important. Like I love a man that can, that like, for example, like my husband, like if anybody asks, okay, like, what is my show? Like he's able to tell them what is my show? Don't like, he's able to tell them he's able to say everything about me. And I'm able to tell you everything about him. That's how it should be, man. You should be with somebody that's comfortable, that's observant, that, that's very interested in you, and that's able, that's willing to take the steps to be who it is you need them to be. To be who it is you need, they need them to be. And so there's a lot of people that I dealt with where I'm like, man, like, you're, you're doing things and like, you know, I, I dealt with a lot of men that like treat me how they treat, how, treat me how they treat those low self-esteem women. And I got to check them like, hey, like, what is this? And they're like, oh, well, the other girls will have a problem with it. That's the other girls. Like, you're dealing with a higher caliber of woman. Like, let me put you on game. Like, what you do with them, you can't do with somebody like me. Like, the, you know, like somebody that got like morals and standards and like, you can't do all that stuff. And a lot of these men do all this stuff because you guys allow them to do. You, you guys allow them to do it. You allow them to do it. Even in my like, you know, when I'm talking to people and I was dating and stuff like that, a lot of things I noticed that people did because I allowed them, I, I allowed them to do it. You know what I mean? So like I said, you got to sit down and you got to figure it out. Like you got to figure out like when you're done, you're going to be done. I'm telling you, you're probably in this and you're probably going to say, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. And then you look down five months and you still with him. But God is going to remove you from that or God's going to change him. Which one is going to be? I don't know. But during this time, you got to really just start working on yourself. Working on yourself. Start pouring into yourself. I noticed that we pour into men too much. We try to be somebody's nurturer. We try to save somebody. You can't save everybody. You got to save yourself. I noticed that in my life. Like, I've been through so much stuff, and I'm the strong friend. I'm the strong family member. I'm there for everybody. And I look at my cup, and there's nothing in it. Because I'm there for everybody. But once I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to just be there for everybody. I got to start being there for myself. That's when I noticed I was more happier. So, like I said, like, don't let these men manipulate you. Don't let these men, you know, oh, like, you tripping, you're not tripping because you're standing on business, because you're standing on, standing on expectations, because you're having boundaries, because you're not tolerating 
Well, you're not tolerating the nonsense. Don't don't allow nobody to flip none on you. What you want out of that relationship is realistic. What you're asking for is realistic. It's just that the person that you with, do they love you? Do they love you enough to make those changes? Do they love you enough to try to change? Do they love you enough to prove to you that they can be the man that you need them to be? That's the question. 